This video shows you how to install CD Writer Plus in your computer. Even if you've never installed anything in your computer before, don't worry. We'll show you the basics step by step. You can pause the video anytime you like by clicking the pause button. Or you can watch one particular part by clicking the steps shown along the side of this screen. Begin by inserting the CD labeled Software Disk 1 into your CD-ROM drive. The main menu will appear. Click on the icon labeled Install CD Writer Plus. You will see a recommendation for how to connect the CD Writer Plus hardware that is specific to your computer. Be sure to print or write down the results. You'll need this information later on. You will then see a screen that tells you it's time to shut down for hardware installation. Click the shutdown button and wait until Windows says it's safe. Then turn off your computer and all peripherals, such as the monitor and printer. It's important to touch something metal. The edge of a metal desk, a file cabinet, or an unpainted part of your computer's case to discharge static electricity before touching anything inside your computer. If you don't do this, static electricity can damage your computer's internal parts. Next, unplug the power cord or power strip from the wall outlet. You now need to remove the cover Locate the screws or fasteners which are usually on the back of the computer. You may need a screwdriver for this step. All computers are different, so if you're having difficulty removing the cover, read your owner's manual. As you remove the cover, Watch carefully for any cables inside the computer that might get caught on the cover. Next, remove the cover plate from the unused drive bay where you will be inserting CD Writer Plus. Next, remove the CD-ROM drive that you will be replacing. To do this, remove the screws holding the drive into the drive bay. Unplug all cables from the back of the CD-ROM drive. As you unplug the cables, lay them aside to make them easy to find, since you'll be plugging these same cables back into CD Writer Plus later on. Then, pull the CD-ROM drive out of the drive bay. Then, you will be setting the jumper on the back of CD Writer Plus. Look at the Install Recommendation printout. Under the heading Jumper setting, it should say that you will be using the master position. To move the jumper from the slave to the master position, grab the jumper with your fingers, pull it straight off of the set of pins labeled Slave, and push it onto the set of pins labeled Master. Then you will be setting the jumper on the back of CD Writer Plus. Look at the install recommendation printout. Under the heading Jumper Setting, it should say that you will be using the slave position. CD Writer Plus's jumper is set to the slave position at the factory, so just look at the back of your drive and verify that the jumper is in the correct position. Next, you will be inserting CD Writer Plus into your computer. Some computers use rails or mounting brackets to hold drives in place. If yours does, attach the rails that came with your computer to the sides of CD Writer Plus. Then, insert CD Writer Plus into the drive bay. 
Next, you will be inserting CD Writer Plus into your computer. Some computers use rails or mounting brackets to hold drives in place. If yours does, attach the rails that came with your computer to the sides of CD Writer Plus. Then, insert CD Writer Plus into the drive bay. Next, look at the install recommendation printout. It should say that CD Writer Plus will be the only device connected to the IDE controller. Find the IDE controller on your motherboard. The motherboard is the largest circuit board in your computer, taking up most of the bottom of a desktop computer or the side of a tower computer. You can identify the IDE controller by looking for either one or a pair of connectors that look like this on your motherboard. On some computers, it may not be obvious at first where the IDE controller is. It may be hidden by some cables, or it may be behind a drive in the drive bay. The IDE controller might already have a data cable plugged into it. If not, use the data cable that came in the box and plug the data cable into the IDE controller. The orientation of the data cable is important. The color stripe on the cable must be aligned with pin 1 of the controller. Pin 1 may be labeled with a 1 or a square mark on the motherboard. Or there may be a diagram inside your computer or in your owner's manual. Another way to determine how to orient the cable is if your computer has another IDE controller that already has a cable plugged into it. Orient the color stripe the same way as it is on that cable. Plug the other end of the data cable into the back of CD Writer Plus. Next, find an unused power cable and plug it into CD Writer Plus. Then, if you want to hear music through your computer sound system, plug the audio cable that came in the box into CD Writer Plus and into your soundboard. If you don't use the audio cable, you can still hear music by plugging speakers or headphones into the front of CD Writer Plus. Use the screws that came in the box to secure CD Writer Plus to the drive bay. Next, plug all of the cables that you unplugged earlier into the back of CD Writer Plus. This includes the data cable, the power cable, and possibly the audio cable. Use the screws that came in the box to secure CD Writer Plus to the drive bay. Next, look at the install recommendation printout. Under the heading, Which IDE Controller, it should say that you will be sharing the IDE controller with another drive, and it lists the name of the drive. Follow the data cable from the back of that drive until you find an unused connector on the cable. Plug this connector into the back of CD Writer Plus. If there is no unused connector, replace the existing data cable with the one that came in the box. It has an extra connector on it. Next, find an unused power cable in your computer and plug it into the back of CD Writer Plus. Then, if you want to hear music through your computer sound system, plug the audio cable that came in the box into the back of CD Writer Plus and into your soundboard. If you don't use the audio cable, you can still hear music by plugging speakers or headphones into the front of CD Writer Plus. Use the screws that came in the box to secure CD Writer Plus to the drive bay. Now that your CD Writer Plus has been installed, it's time to reassemble your computer. 
Start by putting the cover back on. Make sure that all cables are tucked inside and don't get caught on the cover. Secure the cover by replacing the screws you removed earlier. Plug in the power cord or the power strip. Turn on your computer. It should start up as it normally does. Then software installation will automatically resume. When you're ready to install CD Writer Plus in your computer, refer to the user's guide for more detailed information. This concludes the installation video.